PQRS is a four bar chain with the link PS fixed. PQRS is a four bar chain with the link PS fixed. The lengths of the link are PQ equal to 62.5 mm, QR is equal to 175 mm, RS equal to 125, uh, sorry, uh, 112.5 mm and PS equal to 200 mm. The crank PQ rotates at 10 radian per second in clockwise direction. Draw the velocity and aspiration diagram when angle QPS equal to 60 degree and Q and R lie on the same side of PS. Find the velocity and angular acceleration of the links QR and RS. So this is what the question. So in this question, first of all, we have to draw the space diagram. So let us see how that space diagram can be drawn. So first write that given data. Given data. First it is given as PQ equal to 62.5 M. Then QR is given as 175 M. Then RS, link RS given as 112.5 M. Then PS, link PS equal to 200 M. An angle QPS equal to 60 degree. Then the crank rotates, that is angular velocity of the crank PQ. Okay? Angular velocity of the crank PQ is given as 10 radian per second. So this is what that given data. So the data to be found out is the first data to find is the first we have to draw the velocity diagram then acceleration diagram and from this diagram we have to find the angular velocity and angular acceleration, uh, angular acceleration of the links angular velocity so angular velocity is omega and angular acceleration is alpha so this is what we have to find for all the links so this is what the given data so now let us start drawing the space diagram so we already know that this is a four bar mechanism so in four bar mechanism what we do is first we have to see the question the four bar here is P, Q or S so P, Q or S is a four bar mechanism so we already know in the question P and S lie on the same line so I am scaling so here what I can do is all these measurements are in millimeter first of all and these measurements cannot be drawn in the paper directly. So what I am doing is I am scaling it to 1 is to 2. So first I am considering a line P and S. So we already know that P is equal to 200 mm. According to our scale it is 100 mm which means 10 cm. So P and S is 10 cm. Now I am taking 60 degree. I am marking 60 degree and drawing a line because we are given as angle Q P S equal to 60 degree. So 60 degree line is constructed. Okay. So what is the length of the link PQ? It is 62.5 and if you scale it, the exact measurement is 31.25, which means 3.12 centimeter. So you see my uh, compass and by setting the line for 3.12 centimeter. Then this point is called Q. So I have located Q. Then from Q to R is 175 mm. So according to my scale this is 8.75 cm. So from Q to R, I am marking a R for 8.75 cm. So from R to S it is 112.5 mm, which means 56.25 mm. That is 5.6 cm. So I am marking a R for 5.62 cm. So now I am linking all the intersection points and this is what my 4 bar mechanism.
and this is what the so it is fixed to I so I am shading this line so this is how we have to construct our space diagram so in order to find velocity diagram we need to calculate the velocity of the limbs so in order to find velocity the formula is Length of the link is multiplied with angular velocity. Angular velocity of the particular link, that is, for example, P Q into length of the link P Q. So, what is angular velocity given in the question? It is 10 radian per second. So, if you calculate 10 into P Q, what is the length of the link P Q? 62.5. Here, you should not use the scale value. We have to use this value in terms of meter. So you have to divide this value by thousand because its unit is millimeter. Now we are converting into meter. So what is the value into zero point zero six two five? So this is how we have to calculate the velocity. So velocity of PQ is equal to angular velocity of PQ into length of the link PQ. Value that is. 0.625 meters per second 